So today I am doing something I never thought I'd ever do with one of my cars. I guess this is the first time for everything. Let me show you guys what we're doing today with the F30 335. So these pieces you guys see right here are part of a wide body kit for my F30 335. That is right, we are cutting into the car and I do not feel very good about it, but I think it's gonna look absolutely sick. And it's time to try something new and get some content for you guys that are fans of wide body kits. This wide body kit is from a company called Clinched, which I'm sure a lot of you BMW guys have heard about. They were primarily known for offering universal fender flares, pretty much for any car. And then they started making full blown body kits and they've been absolutely crushing it. This particular kit is known as one of the best ones you can get for the F30, both because of the quality of the parts and the fitment, something that is very rare with a lot of aftermarket body kits. Fitment is always a concern. A lot of the times you gotta do a lot of extra custom and fabrication just to get it to fit decent and then it just becomes a headache. This one is pretty good fitting, requires minimal modifications from what I've heard and it's gonna make the car just look absolutely sick. So I wanna show you guys something really, really cool. So you got an engraving on the inside of the panels, every single one of them. Check it out, clinched for vehicle virals, my logo. That's pretty sick. Once you guys see the finished product, very certain that a lot of you F30 guys are gonna be interested in this kit. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the video's description if you guys wanna find out more about the kit or if you wanna purchase it. Looks like we're about to get started and it's not getting any easier for me. I'm very nervous, but I know it's gonna be a very good outcome. By the way, the shop that's installing the kit is Pro Legit. You can find them on Instagram. I'll have a link to their page down in the video's description. They specialize in anything custom automotive related whether it's interior, music system, bodywork, exterior, these guys are very particular and they try to be a perfectionist when it comes to everything. Highly recommend these guys. Make sure to check them out. Again, Central Florida area. The name of the shop is called Pro Legit. And as you guys can see, the guys here are already mocking up some of the body parts. We have these massive <laughs> side skirts here. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty epic. And this is the massive duck spoiler that's gonna go in the trunk. It's gonna look so aggressive, guys. You guys have no idea. I kind of stepped away for a little bit and it looks like they've officially drilled two holes into the body. Guys, there's no going back. <laughs> so I wanna show you guys something. Look at that. It's a cargo section of a Sprinter van. And take a look at what Pro Legit did to this. All custom from the walls, the Starlight headliner, reupholstered seats, the floors, the TV, the speakers. This is all done in-house. It just goes to show you the potential these guys have at doing custom work with automotive stuff. This is unreal. So we got our tone here from Pro Legit, and we have the guy, the owner of Glinched White Body. They're gonna give us some insight as far as the project with the F30, uh, maybe some tips on how to install this kit, maybe some things that you guys need to look out for if you want to do it the right way and not the rushed and bad way. The most important part, you need some time, so don't be in a rush. So the installation process is super straightforward. Basically, you need a good tools, drill, few different drill bits. So we start with the smallest one, which is 338. Then you need to have a few other drills. This one is five millimeter drill to drill the body kit for the bolts and you have 7.5 which you drill afterwards to install the rivet nut. For the rivet nuts you also need the rivet nut gun with the M5 head. Basically that's all tools you need so we will start and show you how we will install the rear quarter panel. The main idea is that you have four panels close to each other and of course what you need to achieve is so the all panels you know flow between the rest of the thing if you see that you know some panels are not lying perfectly you just need to trim a little bit inside or some you know parts to make it flush everywhere and then i noticed you guys use this as a point of reference as well too with the gas cap to make sure that was right yeah th that's very important so we have the same gaps here and here they went ahead off camera they did the front already kind of mocked up the side skirt 
we took off the bumper element because th this is the plastic bumper and with the rivet nuts sometimes it's falling. Everything you see it's aligned. So basically what we left to do is we're gonna connect the front fender with the side skirts here. So essentially this all becomes almost like one piece. This bolts onto the side skirt, side skirt bolts onto the rear quarter right here with all the three different parts. The ones that go on the rear bumper, the quarter panel, and then the one that goes on this side, right? Yeah, so and uh, the last thing we, we're gonna do is we will attach the side skirt so it has like a huge panel that goes underneath. We will attach it with four or five rivet nuts underneath. Yeah. So everything will hold in its place. And you see that the side skirts dress up the stock side skirt. The front seems a lot easier than the rear. The rear needs a little bit of adjustment, which we're gonna show you guys here. But it's definitely a kit you guys think that uh, people can do at home, right? If they have the right equipment and maybe the right patience. Yeah, basically the only investment that you need to do is to have the rivet nut gun. And the Coleco fasteners, I think they're around $50. I would recommend to have the second pair of hands because when you put the panel, you need to align it and one person should hold it and another person will drill the first hole. After you put the rivet nuts, you will have the room to adjust it still, but you don't have to hold it anymore. So basically the rest of the job you can do alone. The main point of the installation is you need to find all most important corners. So we have here, we have the door here, and we have the second point here. So when you align them perfectly, you can start drilling. And if for whatever reason, you know, you guys are in the central Florida area and do not want to deal with this tedious process, or our tone is right here to help you out. Yep. Because uh, it seems like these guys are known for being perfectionists and he's going to treat it like its own car. So it's totally possible to do this at home. Obviously you want to have a little bit of patience, the right tools, and really take your time because at the end of the day, if you want a really good end result, it's all in the prep and it's all about how you initially start it. You can rush through it, right? You're going to have some imperfections that maybe some people might not see, but a person like me, I wouldn't be able to live with it. I want to make sure it's as perfect as possible. That way when it's displayed to others and when I personally see it, it's something that I'm proud of. When they were working on the other side, I guess the biggest, I wouldn't say drawback, but something that you're gonna have to address is, like Ego was saying, the side skirt, right? It extends to this side, connects to the front, and then it goes to the rear. Due to the design of it, I know with the other side, it was a little bit on a shoulder end on this side, so it has to be slightly modified to work on this side. And then we're gonna show you guys that there's certain parts of the connectors right here where they have to shave down a little bit so it fits a little bit more flush. Little small things, not a lot. I've seen a lot more work having to be done with other aftermarket kits. So I don't think it's excessive with this particular kit, but there is some modification you will have to do to the rear quarter panel. So this one's just kind of keeping it center and now you can adjust it left and right, essentially based on how you guys want the panel to sit. And this is something that you eventually don't use. This is just why you're installing yeah, yeah, the kit. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's just to hold it in place. Yeah, if everything is perfect, we just drill those holes to five millimeter first, drill it straight, and then when we install the rivet nuts, we drill it to 7.5 millimeter. If you're not holding the kit, you drill the first hole, then you start drilling another one, but it's already changed its place a little bit. All your holes are not on a straight line or something, and that will be a pain in the air, you know, to even to bolt it on. So. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. All right, so the guys here went ahead and taped up the fenders and the quarter panel. We're essentially measuring what we're cutting. What they decided to do is cut as much as possible. So this is the max we cut before we run into issues with the wide body. Uh, this should be enough room to get an aggressive wheel setup and also being able to slam the car significantly. So you can normally go lower if you already have a wheel setup, you already have a suspension setup we can play with, but since I don't have any of that stuff yet. We're just gonna go for the maximum cut and that's gonna give me a little bit more versatility when it comes to whenever I get everything. Also, not only is the fender gonna get cut, part of the bumper as well. So you're essentially destroying two body panels to install the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the guys do 
their work here. They're gonna finish up the front. It's getting kind of late, so I'm gonna head home. I'll be back here in the morning to film the rest of the process. I gotta tell you, I started off being very nervous, but after seeing the quality of work that these guys are doing here at Pro Legit and how comfortable they made me feel, I'm not worried at all, and I'm actually very excited to see the final product. And I hope you guys are excited too. One pair of pants later. Uh, it looks like the guys already bolted up most of it. Here's what the rear looks like with the hardware. Most likely I'm gonna go ahead and order other hardware that's black so it can hide a little bit better, but it's not like that. But yeah, fitment so far looks pretty good. Probably gonna do a little bit of shaving on the inside to get this to fit flush right here. The side skirts are not bolted on yet. Here's what the front looks like. And the front section, which is gonna be very, very interesting to see which front lip or a splitter I go with just because that portion is there, which is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna have to either add material to make it wrap all the way around this way. I don't know, I'll figure it out. This portion isn't fully bolted on yet, which is why the fitment looks kind of weird. It's gonna look really good on this side. Here's what it looks like on this side. Side skirt fitment. Again, the side skirts are just kind of placed over the side skirt right now. Here's what it looks like on this side. Very nice. They went ahead and uh, removed the, the emblem here, the badge at 335, so we can get ready to install the ducktail. And I think they're just modifying some of the inside so we can get a perfect fitment, which is gonna look really sick. I'm gonna have to look for a very aggressive diffuser to just match perfectly with the body kit. In a while since I've been this excited and nervous, I think the outcome's gonna be really, really good. I've just never done anything like this and it's way out of my comfort zone. But I trust the guys here and I think that the finished product is gonna be very nice. So these guys are pretty much done with the kit for now. We have the ducktail here. Look at the fitment here on the body line. It's precise. I mean, these guys are pro legit, are serious, man. They did one hell of a job. Everything's pretty much ready to go. We got this fitment perfect over here. Man, it is such a good looking kit. And just look at the front of the car, guys. Oh, of course it's gonna need a splitter, but that looks super, super aggressive. One thing I really like about it, once it's bolted on, it's very, very sturdy. I don't think I showed you guys earlier, these body panels have like a secondary layer underneath that makes it sturdier. So like if you, let's say, just kind of trip into it or drop something on it, it's not gonna fold it in. The same thing with the rear section. It's technically a two piece system, each of these parts. There's a plastic inside that's, I guess, I don't know, molded or plastic welded into the inside portion of the panel and it makes it very, very sturdy. And I think it should be really good as far as drag when you're driving the car. I'm slowly but surely falling in love with this car. All the work that's been put into it. It's gonna look fantastic, guys. I'm showing you guys the side angle because uh, I think that's where it looks the best right now with the stock wheels. Obviously, the, the fitment's not on point. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the work the Pro Legit guys did and also the quality of the kit from Clinched looks so aggressive and now the headlights like fit the car even more here's the rear portion right here obviously if you look at it from back here it's gonna look kind of odd because we don't have the wheel kind of filling up this spot right here the ducktail looks absolutely amazing especially once we match the entire car the fitment is really spot on i highly recommend you guys subscribe so you guys can catch the next video we're probably going to be wrapping the car and doing wheels not sure which one comes first but both are going to be equally entertaining and fun to watch make sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video it does help out the channel and as always thanks for watching till next time